Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Happy International Scrapbook Day. We are going to be having so much fun today. It's the day of us. Yes, it is. So I am using this beautiful cup file set, which reads, love this documented life. I cut it out on just some really like slightly textured white cardstock. And I'm going to back it with this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous piece here. I don't know if I'm going to back the camera with it yet, but I do know I'm backing the alpha with it. And then, oh, but wait, there's more. Where did, where did my stuff go? Oh, here it is. I am going to then put the whole gorgeous thing on the back. Or this will be my background, this just chillin' piece from Sunkist. So wood grain and gorgeous brush strokes and all of the things are going to happen. So it's going to take me a hot minute to back all my little alphas. And I did go ahead and get them ready. You know, they're offset. I should, I needed to do them the smallest amount bigger, but they're going to work and I'm going to pop them on. It's going to be gorgeous. So like I said, it's going to take me a hot minute to do that. So bear with me. I'm going to do that. And I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so what I did is I went ahead and gutted just that little piece so I can have my heart. And then this is the back of what I use for my cut file. And I'm going to just lay that right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then pull this over and nobody will know. Now I have this huge hinker to, to put this on a diagonal and I rarely diagonal anything, but for some reason I want to. So I did that. Then it occurred to me, I want to just blur it out slightly with some white gesso so I can get some splatty bits to show up in the same colors. So I'm gonna work on that. Maybe, yeah, I think just gesso. There's so much going on already that I think putting any kind of um, like modeling paste or whatever is just, going to be kind of redundant. So let me do that and let it dry. So guys, I started this layout the other day and it sat on my desk and now I want to do different things to it. I popped out this little heart because I want to steal a little piece of this wood grain and have that be the wood grain heart because it's just too light. Alrighty, so what I have here looks like a total hot mess. Totally agree. And this shimmers colors I decided to bring in were green olive, so this is a shimmers. It comes wet and it's very glowy. Then the, my pink is an Inklings and that's Beats Me. And then I grabbed a Creamies and that's a Dandelion. So I'm going to put those off to the side so they can dry. Now let's get our cut file on here. Now I had originally blue. Please don't go in the window. I originally put like ATG adhesive on, but now that I have mixed media on here, um, you know, with the gesso, I kind of have a feeling I better get a nice amount of liquid adhesive on. So I'm going to get this on. I'm going to get my photo on, right? And then is the fun, fun part where I just get to look through all the goodies I have you know, and I'm basically using a kit and guys, I'm using a kit that's set aside for something else and I couldn't help it. I had to use my cocoa vanilla. I'm having an issue with it. I'm just using it right up and I'm not supposed to be, well, you know, supposed to be like according to my own rules. Okay, we've done pokey dots. So I'm gonna get this on here, get my photo on here. And yes, hot mess, it'll look better in a second. And then I'll start grabbing all my bits. All right, so I have it on here and see how like that big old mess calms down. There's just kind of like some funfetti. So I grabbed this cute little flare button and I think I'm gonna put that right here. And these are from Scrap and Happy Studio. And it was actually the piece that was on the little thank you card from a recent order. So I thought that was so cute. It says happy and it's in a circle spot and that's awesome. I did tell you I wanted to move a little bit of wood grain onto the heart. That's why I had that big hole sticking out. Okay, let me get my flare put aside really quickly. So I have my shimmers on. I've got a little bit of white behind this because I wanted it to pop through. Great. Some of these pearly bits, but I was wondering if I had any little die cut pieces left. And I've been using lots of them. 
that would also work with this. And I thought that this cute little banner would be a win. So let's see. Once again, guys, this is one of these layouts that I've stopped and started, and it's not because I haven't been motivated to do it. But like at one point I got, oh, I better use a little liquid adhesive again. At one point I got some haul stuff. So I wanted to get that put away and, you know, it was just hanging out in my room. And then we had a couple gorgeous days here. And in my region to have 80 and sunny in April is a really big deal. So of course I wanted to be outside enjoying all of that and yada, yada, yada. So now it's time to get back to it. All right. Perfect size for that little banner piece. Now I have a bunch of these. Oh, look, it says love again, but we already have love. We have happy flip-flops, not going to work. Our summer, I mean, this is a summer collection. So we do have to accept, oh, they're just so cute, that some of this stuff in here is going to be summer related. We've got a couple of these hearts. I keep using these hearts on everything, so I don't know if I have many left. Oh, I do. I think I'm going to sprinkle these around with, I have some of these little half flare bits that I got once upon a time at the Secret Not Secret Kit Club retreat I went to. Ooh, love this documented life. I like feeling fine and good vibes only, like right there. That will make me happy. Yay. Now, oh, this whole cut file, by the way, is popped up on foam tape. So I feel pretty good about putting things flat because, you know, I like a mix of both. And also some, or actually all, of my splatty bits have a little bit of shimmer going on. And then, of course, my gesso is super flat. So, you know, all kinds of cool stuff going on. So I think I'd like to sprinkle here and there some of these different colors. And I'll use all five. So I really did like that cluster area, maybe this one. So I'm not thrilled with how the um, gesso dried right there. So why don't I do, let's see. Hmm, I wanna bring a little bit more yellow down here, but I don't wanna bring more pink there. So I guess we'll go like that for that upper cluster. So I'm kind of feeling like I have three clusters. I don't know. It's working in my head. Now, I can look for just a couple of these nice word bits and I'll probably put them across the hearts. I'll do that. I think I better get some of this stuff attached down though. Let me see if there's anything I want to put up by the photo as well. And keeping in mind, I already used that little tab, but this one's cute. Look at this little guy. He's a rainbow. And, you know, yeah, there's no reason whatsoever for it to be there. And I like that. I am good with the making no sense whatsoever plan. All right, so that little guy's cute. Okay, it's one-sided. So I think that's what I'll do. I'm going to look for a couple of cute words. And I'm going to get these pieces on and I'll be back in a second. Oh, I want to put some of the pearly bits on and I'll be ready to wrap this up. Give me a minute. All right. So it's all finished. I thought it was so much fun. I love my little flare and puffy bits and sequins. And the sequins are from Spiegel Mom Scraps. It's, um, yeah, a set that is no longer available, but just cute little touches. I so love this collection. So I'm going to hurry up and get this posted and we're going to have so much fun for International Scrapbook Day and be so busy all day and all that good stuff. So I'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.